Tonight only on 7, you saw an amazing cancer treatment on The Good Doctor. It is truly saving lives and it's being done right in our own backyard. It's for people suffering with tumors in their abdomens who before this breakthrough could only rely on limited cancer treatments. A freak accident put Teresa Ressler's life on a collision course. I was not feeling right and um, it was, there was a black ice in the parking lot and I fell. That fall disrupted a life already filled with grief. Her dad's diabetes, her brother's drug addiction, and a life altering diagnosis. He passed away, I had cancer, my dad passed away, my grandma passed away. Despite the overwhelming sadness, without that freak fall, a cancerous tumor growing inside Teresa may never have been discovered. The tumor was so large that it was pressing on my everything and I couldn't breathe. She was told to see Dr. Richard Berry, a surgical oncologist at Ascension St. John Hospital, where they perform a treatment for rare cancers called HIPAC, hyperthermic intraperitoneal chemoperfusion. When those organs have tumors that have spread into the abdomen, uh, one of the treatments that we've developed over really over the last 10 or 15 years is a surgical treatment to remove all the tumors in the abdomen. In 2011, HIPAC was considered experimental. Patients with cancers in the ovaries, colon, appendix, or abdominal organs would only get it if they were out of options and insurance would not cover it. Today, with data to prove HIPAC saves lives, insurance will now cover it. So Teresa was hopeful as soon as she met Dr. Barry. The sun was shining behind him. It was really, really strange, but I just knew when he said, I'm going to save your life. I want to save your life. Her ovarian cancer had spread throughout her abdomen. Dr. Barry recommended the same treatment spotlighted on an episode of The Good Doctor, seen here on 7. How bad is the pain? Maybe a six. When my doctors gave up on me, Claire found a way. There's so much tumor in there, it's hard to tell what anything is. If the cancer's just in her abdomen, she could be a candidate for high pick treatment. Shows like that and stories like this, anything that we can do to raise awareness uh, to help patients, I think is so important. Teresa's surgery, similar to this one, done in two parts. First, the removal of her beach ball sized tumor. He had to hurry up and finish with with the removal because I was passing away on the table. Teresa had to regain her strength over three months before second surgery with HIPEC could be done. Her abdominal cavity was filled with hot chemotherapy drugs. Cut me open all the way, lower my body temperature, pour in the heated chemo, and it was kind of like a, they said it was kind of like a shake and bake. This surgery can last anywhere from five to 20 hours, depending on the type of tumor. For Teresa, it was a huge success. Three years later, she is cancer free. Well, she feels like you are her miracle. When she came to me and really when all patients come to see us, they're at a point where they really need help and they need to have hope and we're very happy with the results. With more than 300 patients, Ascension St. John has performed more of these surgeries than any other hospital in the country, and they continue to do more than 50 cases a year. It is truly saving lives. Dave?